So for something a little bit more in the advanced series, which is coming bit by bit, the more advanced it gets, but I just wanted to get all the basic stuff out of the way. But one of the more advanced things, it's not an option you can buy, so you have to make them yourself, is a mass damper. So a little bit about springs first. So when you have a spring set up like this in the front, you will you will have no dampening. You don't have a shock absorber. So a spring, what it likes to do is store energy and release it. And in a chassis, it can look like, like this. It oscillates because it it doesn't have a it doesn't have shock fluid to calm this to to um, react make an opposite reaction to the uh, to the spring. So uh, uh, normally a shock absorber will take the stored energy in the spring and dissipate it into heat by moving a piston through oil. But you don't have that in the front. So mini C fronts or typical front ends with this setup here can be a little jittery, especially when you run um, stiff a stiff front end or high grip tires or something like that. So you can do that by doing what a, a little more simple version, but what they did in F1. Uh, it was Renault, I think, in 04 or 05, made a mass damper like this. They have it now as well, but I think it's being banned for the 2022 season. Don't quote me, but I think it is. Um, and what this is, is a spring on the bottom, a spring on the top, and a weight in the middle. So, when you have an oscillating spring, you want a opposite um, mass to interfere with the oscillation. So the oscillation becomes less. This will reduce uh, chattering uh, at the front. And how this is made is actually quite simple. It's a polished rod with a, uh, a shim on top of the bar on top and on the bottom. And here I just cut the uh, the stock spec uh, rear damper springs and made it a little smaller. It needs to be a very light spring, as you see here. It's take almost nothing to move it. I'll have a slow mo on this at the end of this video, so you can see how it works. But this, when this goes down, this will, on the contrary, go up. And when this comes up, this will go down, counteracting each other. So you will have a more steady front end. Okay, if you want any more information about this, it's super simple to make. Play around with it. You can have a harder spring on top and bottom to counteract different things. Normally, you would go uh, same hardness top and bottom, uh, but you can play around with the weight. This is just a bearing for one twelfth, twelfth, one tenth scale car, uh, and I'm thinking about making a brass one, so I have a little bit more weight to play with. But yeah the mass damper and some slow-mo. See you next time.